Good morning from Detroit, Michigan, USA. My name is Katie Buller Goswish, and I'm the Executive Director for the Alliance to End Human Trafficking, the U.S. member of Talitha Kum. We are so happy to be with you today on this feast of our patron Saint Josephine Bakita and the International Day of Awareness and Prayer Against Human Trafficking. In 2023, we celebrated our 10th anniversary as an organization dedicated to ending human trafficking through education and prevention, promoting access to services for survivors of human trafficking and advocacy at the local, state and federal levels. As we approach our 10th year, the organization started by 15 sisters from 15 different religious congregations decided our name needed to reflect the truly inclusive nature of our organization. Formerly, we were the U.S. Catholic Sisters Against Human Trafficking. Today, we are the Alliance to End Human Trafficking. We are an alliance of over 115 congregations of U.S. women religious and over 130 individuals and mission-aligned organizations and partners. We were very grateful this year to celebrate our 10th anniversary at a large conference in the Chicago, Illinois area. There, gathered with so many of our members, we honored our founders, Sister Margaret Naki and Sister Ann Schultz. We were also able to present the Sister Margaret Naki St. Josephine Bakiza Award to both Talitha Kuhn and foundations and donors interested in Catholic activities, or FATICA. For the past year and into the future, we have partnered with the National Advocacy Center of the Sisters of the Good Shepherd in Washington, DC on a project surrounding the connection between human trafficking and forced migration. While human trafficking continues to be a vastly underreported crime, we know that 77% of identified trafficking survivors in the recent past have links to our immigration system. Because of this, and because of our joint commitment to address root causes of human trafficking, we know that improving conditions for migrants, both in the United States and in home countries, will go a long way to reducing human trafficking in our country and beyond. We are partnering with mission-aligned organizations, policymakers, and members of Congress and their staffs to make or update laws and policies for the protection of immigrants from human trafficking. Our advocacy efforts are centered on three separate areas in hopes to mitigate vulnerability and therefore reduce human trafficking. Specifically, we are looking at reducing the work authorization waiting time for asylum seekers, promoting international provisions in two bills to assist people to live in dignity, and a special court docket for migrant children so that no child has to face the immigration system on his or her own. As we look into 2024, we will continue to work on the root causes of human trafficking, promoting the dignity of each human person made in the image and likeness of our God. Thank you to each and every one of you for all of the work that you do to end human trafficking. St. Josephine Bikita, pray for us.